Hi everybody and welcome to another Bipen and Paper Streams, or rather Demo Alley. I'm calling this a demo because I'm playing this in beta form. I got ex access to the first descendant. Somebody is calling this the Destiny Killer. I'm highly doubting, but if we manage to actually play this without any hicks, bugs or issues, we're gonna be checking it out. If not, then I'm probably gonna try and record it. And if that's not, then I, this never happened. It can know this stream ever happened. Uh, this is being developed by Nexon Games and Nexon Korea Court, which should be obvious pretty soon once we get into the game. Let's see if something happens. I click to start. This whole rotating weird uh, amalgamation thing actually reminds me of the Destiny, the, the witness thing and all these ships and all that. The game froze. At least we're not dropping frames. Humans were defeated by the body. Invaders from the other world. Then came the Colossus. He destroyed everything. Humans resisted until they could no longer This is like what? Three apocalypses at the same time? Am I the first descendant? Oh boy, this is gonna be... Look out, riders, once again. There has to be another way. No. This is our only chance. We have to strike now. Okay, cover me. Why does he sound like he recorded in a completely different place than the everybody else, or like shitty studio? Was that supposed to be like a helmet sound? Oh, he ain't taking your shit, or your bullets. That's a big cannon. Oh, they're fighting a mind flayer with a big gun. Can't hold much longer. Go! Take a look at my balls. My icy balls. Damn. <gasps> that breast shot, jeez. Glad I could help. Oh, is this gonna be ah, uh, select your descent. Wow. Ah, uh, so descendant info for becoming first descendant. Then you can gather descendant kits to collect and play other descendants. Okay. 
Okay, so we are we are in gacha territory already. Okay, I get it. I get it. So she's I mean I can compare this and I saw somebody comparing this to Destiny. Easiest thing. Okay, let me check to just my camera out that it's kinda of wrong. Okay, I think that should be that. Um Yeah, thank god it's not this glitchy. It's somewhat glitchy, but uh, I can't focus it potato PC. So yeah, we have kind of like three standard versions. This is kind of like a hunter, maybe, maybe not. More like just a standard soldier. You have a grenade, power stream, grenade, passive skill, nine lives, and rose damage upon receiving fatal damage. Okay, that's cool. Arm launcher. This is also gonna be third person. It's not gonna be first person. We have something of a warlock or like a spellcaster. She has ice attacks. Nice wave. Nice, actually, these are really cool. One of them is stage 2 icicle, and one more enemies creates ice spear. And we have something of a titan. You can deploy a shield, slam. Like all of these actually, like the uh, uh, Ajax and Spell. Look, he can survive shit, but these two are actually more fun to play. I'm gonna go with Vanessa. Apparently, if the if what it says here is correct, it says uh, then you can gather descendant kits to collect and play other descendants. So this is gonna be like a hero shooter, but more like Tower of Fantasy Genshin Impact. Like you're collecting waifus and all that and playing with them and leveling them. Well, long press, okay. I just, she just seems cool. Like, in Ajax has the coolest armor, but she seems something I would like to play with the whole icicle and spell casting powers. Ajax is just metal armor, metal tank with an assault rifle. The entrance is cool. Like showing off each of these guys, but the whole mechanic of buying descendants and all that is eh. Small arms fire. We're literally watching a raid. <laughs> And not playing in it. Oh, it just yeeted itself somewhere. Oh, and these two die. And we survive. I don't know what the Lorraine like is gonna be like when you switch descendants, lore wise, and all that. Even in Total Fantasy, you're not really playing other characters, kind of like Simulacra in. Ooh, this place looks cool. And we have to finish the fight ourselves. Let's see how this runs. It actually moves. Why can't we just go into the void there? Descendant, I can't confirm your location. If you're alright, try to move around. No major injuries, Alpha. Good. I picked up the Aziz signal. Now I'll guide you to the meeting point. And the power is locked. I mean, the movement is cool. It's okay. Like standard over the shoulder uh, movement. Nothing special. It's running decently smoothly. Not too much, but we'll see what happens in combat. Oh, double jump. Are these called scufflings? Really? The fact that these guys are short doesn't need to be. Then it runs. Ow, 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 ow! You asshole! Yes, I agree. So annoying. Did I play about with the uh, audio on this already? Yeah, I did. It kind of went whack, I think. It was loud and intense. 
Oh no. Its energy response is increasing. They have to run. Run fucking wet. Oh well. Deeper underground. Watch out. We are going deeper underground. Like double jump is she just repeats the jump action. It's not even like oh you create a glyph or something, it's just a blip blip jumping in the air. Because physics don't work here apparently. I wonder what kind of customization we're gonna find. This is gonna explode. Yep. Can I dodge? Because these guys act almost like hit scanners, missing everything. Oh, some grappling hook action. That's cool. That's fun traversal. What can a grapple hook on? Literally anything. Can I Spider-Man? Oh, I can Spider-Man. Ah, wait, no, no, it has cooldown. Looks like the place could collapse at any moment. Any signs of an ambush? Not in the immediate vicinity, but you'll have to be careful once you get out of there. The target is coming your way. Watch out. I like how calm she is about all this. He's locked. Can't even crouch. Jesus. Ooh, that's a shotgun. What the fuck are they talking? Ooh, a sniper rifle as well. Okay, all right. Okay. Skill, Q, finally. Oh, now you're giving me a dodge roll. Sound of shooting is just weird. It's like they're shooting pea shooters, not something dangerous and deadly. some of this movement okay simple mechanics dodge roll do all this do all that grappling hooks target signal locked be ready you'll run into it soon you're all alone out here but the executioner was injured in the previous battle so it's an opportune time to strike good luck Biasa. Well, let's see how far we get Boss fight. Still dropping frames. Hi, big guy. Don't shoot me with your massive laser. Oh, weak spots. Ow. Let me freeze you again. 
What the fuck? Really? You brought friends? Ow, 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 ow. Freeze, bitch. I still have flying balls flying around me. Ooh, let's let me move, let me move. Commentary constant is kind of starting to create. Tab, anything? Any weaknesses? Eat some ice. Iceman Comet. What killed you? The Ice Age. All that jazz. Oh, well, that was easy. Yep. Okay. Okay. Oh, it's still alive. Ooh, laser from orbit. Somebody watched Guardians of the Galaxy too much. Well, there goes our descendant. You could have done that before. That looks dangerous. I just got yeeted. Probably gonna have to wait for the next buggy loading. Now my graphic card has been taxed. That's what it is. You're back. I'm glad you made it out safely. I'm at headquarters right now. Meet me there. It's been too long since we've been face to face. Hmm. Cool design. Are those? Are those massive fuck off Gatling cannons? Like, not just one, but th four of them? Damn, this mountain is defended. Wow. Look at how many clones. Let's go to the, the main thing. No, more, more, more Gatling cannons. More Gatling cannons. Even more Gatling cannons. Holy balls, this is amazing. 
when you need to defend the place and delete anything that is even attempting to look at your direction. I'm gonna start losing frames again. This actually reminds me a little bit of Dest first Destiny's uh, hub starting tower. Literally almost the same. I'm only gonna brief you on the operation this once. Okay, Mr. Yu, Gregory McConnell. He's a descendant commander who swapped fieldwork for paperwork. Yeah, fuck off. Corral and the Legion of Darkness haven't been seen for a while, and there were rumors that he was dead. But it turns out he's alive and well. Pity. We've had intel he's hiding in Kingston. Our plan was to increase the number of human settlements starting there. But now that Corral is sniffing around, we might have trouble achieving that. Our priority now is to figure out what Corral is up to. Lieutenant Chalet from Kingston is already conducting an investigation. You're being sent there to help. Make your preparations in Albion and come back to me when you're set. Hmm. Let's see inventory. Sentence equipment stats. Okay. Mastery rank increase proficiency of the players. Now descendants share the same mastery rank. Level is the level of the current descendant. Level uh, up enhance descendants basic stats. Good weapons. Three weapons. Standard. I read your weapon enhancing uh, weapon wounds connected to weapon slots with a line. The connected rune enhances the weapon to make weapon stronger. Click. Uh, boy. Enhancement runes. Jesus. It, that's really what I needed. Equip the uh, kill rune to enhance your weapon and descendant. Collect various runes. That's known. Storm, Torrent, Tide, Thunder, Haze, Performance of Weapon, Shows Weapon Enhancements, OK, Send and Rune Types, Shows the current with Rune, All Runes have Capacity Cost, Great, Weapon Rune Capacity Limit, this is depending on your Mastery Rank, Way too many shit, Keep track of. It's good that there is everything. I have no runes. What am I even doing here? Tide moon. Does does it see what it does? Doesn't know that really. Okay, and that's that's pretty much it. Some accessories. Wow. Wow. Own weapons, blah blah blah, standard weapon shit. It's like, wow, absolutely, like, not even like armor sets or something, it's basically you're getting runes and whatever accessories and that's it. Let's go to the other things, consumables, crafting, descendant, okay. Here you can see all your descendants, portraits of phone, descendants are activated, blah blah blah, use, okay. Choose the brief information. Descendants can unique abilities, yes we've seen that, select the descendant. You need to conduct research to obtain new descendant. Take the required materials to measure the cuisine and now be on. So I think we get these three unlocked at the start, because like those are the base ones. Ultimate Lepic. Whatever. Oh boy, a turret, uh, turret maker. Bunny. They're still very quiet, even though I turned this the volume of voice to the max. Glay. It's not grey, it's glay. Sharon. Blair. Ooh. Wow. Fire dude. Flame manipulation. What's the name? Stove? Stove on, stove off. Really? 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 Flambe. Chef st C Come on. C C C mm. Come on. Also, more female character than male, of, of course. This looks like a meme game more than like a serious game. Quests, main story, build, subquests. George Wesley, yeah, yeah, I know how the quest list looks. Map. Can I see other players? Yes, I can see other players running around. That's 
That's pointless. That's really fucking pointless. And annoying. Okay, decoration. Skin. Emotes. Can I put it? Okay, go there. Go there. Go there. This is Destiny equipment. I don't like this. That there's just four. I don't like that in Destiny. I don't like this here. And even like switching from two inventories, it again Destiny. I'm gonna compare a lot of this to Destiny. Everything is uh, more or less Destiny here. Can I? Activate emotes, can't, even though I slotted them. Did I slot them or did they just turn it off on me? Beta grown events. Uh, yeah, I don't care. It's beta, I know. I did slot them, I don't know why they're not working. I'm just gonna go talk to him again and continue on. You're here. Are you ready to go to Kingston? I don't know if you've met Lieutenant Shale before. He's the captain of the Kingston Dispatch, and an excellent commander. His dispatch team are perhaps the bravest soldiers of Albion. Braver even than descendants in some ways. Go to Kingston and meet Shale. He'll tell you more about the mission. Some I mean, operation. the design, the look, everything is cool. I know I always give you the dangerous job, but I really have no other choice. Oh, I don't mind. She, ha, huh, okay. The activity. The Albion Kings. We will go there. Just wanna explore Albion a little bit more. See if there's anything useful. I mean, I'm not gonna say it's like the Tower in Destiny, but it's like the Tower in Destiny. I'll make that cool thing even cooler. I don't have any funds. Is this for the descendants? Just say the word. Do you want something new? Looks like a robot. Research quest. From research menu you can conduct the research on your descendants. Okay, filter five. Hover over the research to check all the materials you need. You can get a kit, an essential research material from amorphous materials. I mean, buying for money. Oh boy, this reminds me of. Ah, uh, uh, this reminds me of Warframe. Like where you're buying parts for frames, so you can, you know, get them. This game seems to have taken a lot of things from different stuff. Lost and found. Again, that's postmaster in Destiny, probably. Why would I exist if all ruins were the same? <laughs> Cute. Uh Yeah, this seems like a mal am am English amalgamation of Destiny and Warframe. To a point, it just doesn't have the insane mm, acrobatics that Warframe has, which was its most biggest selling point. Listen to me. I mean, it's a beautiful world. It's kind of Albion is. I think something related to like Excalibur and all that. Sometimes it's considered like a steampunk. City of or clockwork. This is also kind of weird. It's not like the last city, it's more like the last wall. Literally, just cannons everywhere, something charging there, and that's it. There's not even like a last city. Let's see what's on the other side. Maybe we can see a city outside. There's no city down there, just a wall. Like, the design of the place is cool, the design of the world is nice. Not much to the plot. I mean, not even Destiny 1 had much of a sense of a plot. Let's see what we can find over here. Oh, that does it look like there's anything but mountain. And bugginess. Yep, nothing. 
Okay, let's go to this instant. Fear visions, okay. Kind of like destiny. Uh, some people said as a beginning, as I said, uh, they're gonna, this is gonna be a destiny killer. I'm gonna say right now it's not. So much not. Uh, one of the things is, um, destiny fashion. People like to customize shit. Their builds, their abilities, their everything. And if you lock whole ability sets to characters and to specific, you know, gacha characters you need to unlock, uh-uh. That, that ain't gonna work. There are already people... Like, maybe... This can be maybe better for people who got sick of... Um, Warframe and want, like, a proper story kind of thing. That is... You know... Not just running the whole same... Sets of maps continuously in circles. Into now Infinium. So I teleported by I'm coming out of the gate. A little over the top with all of this. I made the right choice picking her. Jesus, the camera loves her. This would probably look even better on a more, you know, highly advanced PC. At least I can stream this without my too many issues, unlike Destiny. Wait, two hours? The descendants who came before were the ones who built it. I see a lot of gathering guns. To build camps like this one across the continent and shed light upon the darkness. That was a long time ago. The darkness will always find its way home. Lend me your power. Please don't. And I will aid you in your fight to banish the darkness once and for all. Descendant. Please, don't you. rip off. Then she's gone. That don't. machine is in need of repair. Bogus proof has still not vacated the area nearby. Please, come with me. Why are they ripping off dar uh, darkness and destiny so much? They could have, they could have called it the void, the, the entropy, the, the, the nothingness, anything. You need that operation. Greetings, descendant. I like that it's I'm voice Charlie, acting. commander of the Kingston Dispatch. At the request of the sages, we're looking for an unusual energy source in this area. We haven't identified it yet, but something is emitting a unique wavelength, different from the energies of the Volgus or Colossus. We thought that it was coming from somewhere near the Kingston underground area, but it recently disappeared. Corel's fleet appeared around the same time. And we don't think that's just coincidence. There must be a connection. We'd know more if the detectors were intact, but they were all destroyed by the enemy. So, first step. I'd like your help retrieving those destroyed detectors so we can recover the data. Okay. I'm looking. Pick a new weapon. Did they get a new weapon? I don't think they got a new weapon. Why did Red Foam appear at August Avenue? Somebody loves Gatling guns. I'm looking for a new place to install the system. The previous detectors we installed nearby have all been destroyed. It's risky, but I need you to retrieve those broken detectors. Oh, that looks cool. Oh yeah, I forgot they had the grappling hook. Yeet. Bruh, this is completely trashed. First data set retrieved. Oh, these corrupted. 
Wait, I can't hear you over the sound of all of the gunfire. Mana. map is not as full of enemies, which is okay. Sometimes just I like to explore and calm and peaceful without Keep being going. shot at. Right inside the building. There's another detector near the statue. This is a very short shot. I would honestly expect it to go a little bit farther. Also, stop saying it's so annoying, so annoying, so annoying. You are so annoying. Just explode. Trees to tech. What? Second data set retrieved. Yeah, totally not an ambush area. What happened? Did they got a weapon? There's like a lot of things dropped from these guys. So we got something. Max shield. Max HP. Oh, I got a better shotgun. Maybe, maybe not. Almost thought the outfit changed. Oh. Oh, but that, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to crouch, but never mind. Crouch does not exist here. Yeah, I need to remember that this freeze sucks. AI is dumb. Brain dead. Inventory. Okay. Well, it's like I knew you were gonna spawn here, which I didn't. Seems the damage doesn't really matter much. Again, destiny like. How did they cut this knife or something? Shoot you. And everything dropping is cool. Cold. Mission. We have to install some new detectors that arrive from Albion. 
Where the fuck can the detector install it? Yes. The new model has a wider detection range. Install it somewhere high up to optimize its surveillance potential. Just remember, the higher you are, the more likely it is you'll be noticed. So you better watch out. Come on, notice me. I want to shoot you some guys in the face. Wow, for a sniper, this thing sucks. But it has a lot of bullets. Anybody else? Anybody want some? The Outriders I liked more because it was so insanely aggressive. Can I have a grenade or something? Maybe if I played Ajax or somebody else, I could have a more aggressive time. So yes, I know I'm so annoying, just don't need to repeat it so much. Okay, I landed on your shotgun, but then you landed on mine. If he told him in his... I am in the minis. I but them in the minis up front. Come on, dude. Why? You were just well hitting. Install the second detector here. I actually love the grappling hook movement. Eat cold, eat shotgun. It seems the Volgas have taken over the dwelling of an aristocrat from the old king era. Oh, 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 that's not cool. That is absolutely not cool, you snipering asshole. Wait, descend. The regulator in the new device isn't working. What are you talking about? Where is that sniper? Okay, there is a thing. Uh, there is a reason. I mean, we're closing into an hour or more or less, depending how much I edit the all the bugs. 
the legs. There is a thing why people play Warframe. It's because of the wild and insane movement and action and all that. There is a reason. And, you know, the special effects and combos and insanity and shooting. There is a reason they play Destiny 2. Or Destiny at all. Because of the godlike, god level of um, weapons, uh, no, not weapons, sorry, sorry, weapon play, gunplay, gunplay, actually. There is a reason they play even uh, Outriders, which is kind of dying, but more or less, is because of the super brutal and action combat. I got something new. Just something that gives me something. Oh, wait, I got a better sniper. Let me take that. Any better shotguns? No. I mean, there is this better thing. That actually does better damage, more shots. Finally, got a better sniper. Raider. Find the mission target. What's the mission target? Oh, this is the mission target. Now oh, they're still exploding again. They leveled up with me. So I wasn't killing them instantly. Stop shooting my device. No, you don't. Jesus, that's a lot of you guys. Can you chill, Axe? They're not pretty. They aren't. So, yeah, the, I think I'm still lagging a bit or losing frames. I don't know. That's what I said. Like, there's the people play. Like, Destiny is casual and has amazing gunplay. Warframe is grindy and you always get something for that grind, and there's. Um, amazing insanity like just movement and weird design oh boy they're now I'm lagging anymore uh, movement and all of that like this this just seems like a really weird gacha that really doesn't allow you that much customization Like the voice acting cool, all working, the the design is nice. We need to keep the bolts away while the detectors are activated. Our best chance is to divert their attention. So I need you to attack them. To keep them distracted for a while. I don't know. I don't believe this is gonna be anything killer. It might be interesting for a while, maybe like to do play through the story and all that, but after that I don't think so. Commentary is alright, but nothing special. Like, I like this. This is not bad in any stretch of the means. Just... Is it gonna be my primary kind of like looter shooter MMO? No. When it comes out, I might play through it. With literally one descendant. And just play through the story and then be done with it. Something like uh, when I did with Anthem. I literally played with just... Uh, uh, what is it? Uh, not Jaeger, it's... Something or other. This is the first time we've visited this camp. Let's have a closer look. What? Oh, that's like a teleporting spot. Oh, the camp looks shit. But I can teleport through here. Like the chairs are cool. It's it's cool. Sh shooter. I don't like when they spawn like this. But fine. The gunplay is basic. The sounds are just nah. Comment that it can be annoying. There's no chest high wall guarding, that's that's strange for like a 
third person shooter. That's not even ducking. You just dodge roll. Search for information inside the bookstore building. Okay, let's not get close to them. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That's an interesting thing. How about you freeze for a moment? And then I blast you into bits. Nice, nice fight. Th th this reminds me of a little bit of Anthem, to be fair. With the elemental combat and status effects and all that. I really don't like this. I like to jump over here. <laughs> Usually, I mean, this is almost like division levels of movement and shooting and all that. You would think like, oh, I'm gonna just move like an agent and then you don't need to. Okay, you suicide somewhere else. Wow, that actually did some damage on me. Oh, 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 I'm actually taking damage. The dimension gate. The Volgas must have a temporary camp nearby. We can use this to attack their camp. Can I heal up? Never mind. Multiple enemies spotted. Defeat each group before you can complete their siege. Eat ice, bitch. I mean, this is still trying to make you move about, be more action-y, like Outriders, and not just stay in one place. Or just high wall fight. Okay, I don't like that. That was very disgustingly bad looking. the healing now okay thank you all this control device okay let me actually get some stuff did we get anything new we got a new machine gun okay got the sniper rifle Oh, it doesn't shoot as fast. Oh, four bullets. Why is it immune? Shit. God damn it. Machine gun's working good. Come on, die. What? 
the sages analyze all the information and synthesize their findings into the most optimal conclusion. It was called a revelation by the earlier descendants, for it goes beyond human comprehension. I bear similar powers to them. While you continue with your daily missions, I analyze the information received from the Essenes. Descendants, I'm in urgent need of backup. Where are you? We need more time to activate the detectors, but the Volgus are on to us. They're sending an army, and I need you to stop them. Ooh, we got some cuties. Let's see what I got. Salt rifle, yes. Hand cannon, because of course, destiny. Ah, boy, why? Can we get anything else? I want to have a shot then. We got new runes that we can use. Like storage. I have no idea what I'm even doing here. So that's that. Can I put in more stuff? Yes, I can. This is like armor stuff. I'm gonna put everything, I don't care. Neil attack dagger, shock punch. Put some balls. What is this? Max HP, max shield. Yeah. Oh, these are all quests. There's literally like, showing me where I'm gonna be going with all of the quests. Fun, interesting. Descendants, the Vulture's troops are responding too quickly. The team members try to stop them, but they suffer too much damage. We need support. I think I'm gonna get any fall damage. Let's try the hand cannon, see how that works. Any observed information. I love my hand cannons. It looks like the devices were damaged during the battle. Decent. Need to reload quick. Beacon placing. That means there's a problem with the antenna. Go up and take a look. The antenna is bent. Can you repair it? Good. The antenna is now operational. But there's also a pair on the other side. We must check those two. It bothers me that the enemies are somewhat quiet. What? I don't think so. Oh, I can break through his shield. Nice. Same as Destiny. I'm expecting somebody from my behind. Yep. Okay, I'm liking the hand cannon. It's not bad. Let me check out this thing. What now? Oh, this. The fuck is that sound? Antenna looks fine. Now, reactivate the controller. Yep, just three point landing.
Oh, I got this. I didn't even notice I got a new scale. Shit, shit, I don't have a sniper rifle on me. This is the only thing. Wow, I leveled up off of him. And I got the blizzard. Why am I missing? Well, at least uh, right, I'm here, but I'm also starting another project. My other one is going to be hold his man of yarn. Yeah. First yarn problems. I shouldn't have done this. This was a bad move. Too much bad, too much bad, too much bad. Ow, 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 my ass. Just a lot of them spawned. And that blizzard didn't do anything. Oh, it's dead? That's the guy? Let's explore the area around the Shadow Mountain. Let's see what we got. We got something more interesting. No, just all the samey stuff. Fence. No shield. What can I say? Uh, first the problems. Yeah. Uh, it kind of it takes a lot of the stuff from many other similar looter shooters and tries to do its own thing but it doesn't really really get it what some of the other looter shooters uh, made them popular like as I said Warframe made it uh, it wasn't because it was so grindy or repetitive it was the insane movement jumping slashing comboing just like eviscerating everything in front of you uh destiny amazing gunplay casual play ability to you know just play around with other people i've been playing this and there's nobody here like i don't know if this is just tutorial level which is fine or is this gonna be the game like am i gonna be completely alone in this like uh, open map that i can that is basically, it's literally telling you where you're gonna be going for the next few missions. Like, you're gonna go here, and then you're gonna go here, and you're gonna go to, you have this consecutive survival, and then you're gonna go here, and it's like, it's a little bit weird, and that, that that's the map, that's the Kingstone map, and, uh, can I go to the main map? No, this is the OG world map. And then you're gonna have... Some other smaller area, and another smaller area, and another smaller area, and th that's that's this, that's that's the whole game. Like, and I mean, Outriders was fun because you could play kind of chest high wall, chest high wall, but uh, the game actually rewarded you when you play aggressively, and you can play aggressively and get stuff. Uh, but you need to combine using your skills with everything to get, uh, you know, healing and everything else. It's not just pickups and drops like in this game. Um, I mean, Descendants, that name, that premise, kind of K, like the design, the look, the cool, the skills, interesting, but 
then again, you can't customize any of it. Like even in Outriders, you can customize the stuff that you put on guns that give you additional abilities to do stuff with your skills. It will change that. It will modify that. Uh, Warframe is custom ability into insanity. Um, Destiny, you at least have your own character. You can play around with other people. There's like world events, like I mean world events, map events, and uh, all of that. Here it's just mission to 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 mission. This is more like a single player game than like an MMO. At least that's what I get from this. Like maybe if we go to another level or if we like complete all of this mission, it's gonna unlock like a um, open worldish where the monsters are just gonna respawn and you can collect stuff or patrol like in Destiny. I don't know. As I said, they took a lot of things from a lot of games, but apparently they don't get... I mean, there is like voice chat and is all this like... I'm gonna turn off, maybe that's gonna help the game a little bit, work a little bit better. Uh, but like, is that gonna like... Is that just if you find like random pugs and play with them? This is also kind of weird. Uh, the grappling hook traversal is something new, it's a bit interesting, I don't know what else I can say about it. There is... can I go to the Ascendant and see... Okay, so she's level 7 and I would need to level this dude. Can I switch out right now? Oh, I can change in uh, Albion, so I need to go back to Albion. Descendant slot... <laughs> I like how it says 3 out of 100. Are there gonna be 100 descendants? That's kind of like optimistic. But I can't change anything. I don't know if I got any new skills or something. There are stuff here which is cool. Like you can upgrade this. The rune effects, assault some machine guns and all that. And there's a lot of these. Capacity mat. Probably new ones here. Better defense. It's got like double power, I guess. It, that reminds me of Warframe. Like, specific, if you slot specific runes into a specific slot, like this rune into this slot, because uh, it says it has that, it's gonna double it. Or, like, it's gonna cost less, actually. It's gonna cost less to. Uh, to operate, which is again Warframe. They've they've picked up a lot of things from a lot of different games, but again, they did not understand what some of those games like what made them really cool. Um, I uh, I can't suggest this game. I really cannot. It's definitely somebody said it was a Destiny killer. It has good loots, like the guns drop constantly and all that. Um, there is stuff to pick up, there is stuff to do. Combat is eh. Like, I think I had more fun fighting in Division than in this. Uh, uh, some skills are too short, like th this. It literally just like exploded over here. Like, it, it had no range. Which is sadness, like honestly sadness. This, okay, this is close combat. This again is close combat. Uh, this thing? Okay, just an AoE, that's cool, but very close combat. The arenas are so huge, you will need something to shoot at a distance. And just shooting this? So short? It's not, it's not, not, not cool, not interesting. Um, I mean, character design, world design, cool, voice acting, okay, everything, there's some mystery to the story, that's gonna be interesting. As I said, I would play this to get through the story and be done with it. Something like Outriders. I would play that just to get through the story and be done with it. And forget about the game, but yeah. So, the demo is gonna be short, the episode is probably gonna come out way after the demo, the game is about to come out, let me check if they said anything about when it's gonna be released, coming soon. Yeah. If there's another, uh, they are adding people, if you go to their Steam account, or the Steam page, you can sign yourself 
up and they will, they will get access and you can try this out and maybe try some of the other descendants. I am really not optimistic about this. And depending how well or how often you can get descendants, like how much of a grind on an issue that is, that's going to be make or break, I think, the game. But yeah, um, thank you for watching. Thank you for sticking around through this buggy episode. I'm sorry. My potato PC can do this much. Until next time, do the like, subscribe, comment, dance. There is Patreon for support. Check the Twitch and YouTube channels by the same name to follow me all, all over the place. And as always, to remember, it's the stories that we play. See ya.